The Pacific Ring of Fire is once again showing signs of intensifying activity. And one of the clearest indicators of this trend is the recent eruption at Mount Semeru in East Java. Semeru, one of Indonesia's most active stratovolcanoes, has entered another eruptive phase characterized by powerful ash emissions, pyroclastic density currents, and rapid changes in crater dynamics. When a volcano with Semeru's history displays this level of unrest, it often reflects deeper shifts occurring across the broader tectonic network of the Ring of Fire. Semeru's latest activity began with a sudden explosive event that produced a tall, ash-rich eruption column. Within minutes, the column destabilized and collapsed, generating a fast-moving pyroclastic density current that swept down the southeastern flank. Observations suggest the flow covered roughly half a kilometer in less than three minutes, a speed consistent with highly pressurized magma interacting with loose summit materials. Such behaviors are not rare at Semeru. But the timing of this eruption coincides with a noticeable increase in volcanic and seismic activity occurring across multiple segments of the Pacific Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire is a vast, horseshoe-shaped zone of subduction, stretching from South America up through Central America, across North America, through Alaska and Kamchatka, down Japan and the Philippines, and across to Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, and the South Pacific. Approximately 75% of Earth's active volcanoes sit along this belt. Activity rises and falls depending on how tectonic plates shift, compress, and fracture beneath the crust. When multiple regions experience unrest within a short time frame, it suggests a redistribution of stress along the subduction boundaries. The recent eruption at Semeru comes during a period of heightened unrest across several arcs. Multiple volcanoes in the Philippines have shown increased gas emissions and crater activity, Japan has recorded a cluster of explosive events and thermal anomalies across its island chain. Alaska's volcanic arc has experienced elevated seismic tremor beneath several of its peaks. Farther south, the Andean volcanic belt in South America has also seen renewed seismicity and magma movement. These changes do not indicate a synchronized eruption scenario, but they show that the underlying tectonic system is adjusting, shifting stresses from one segment to another. Semeru sits above the Sunda subduction zone, where the Indo-Australian plate is pushed beneath the Eurasian plate. This region is one of the world's most active subduction interfaces, producing both powerful earthquakes and frequent volcanic eruptions. When pressure accumulates along this trench, it can trigger deeper magma movement, altering gas content within magma chambers and increasing the likelihood of explosive activity at surface level volcanoes. Several signals suggest that tectonic stress may be building beneath this region. Over the past months, seismic networks have detected elevated micro tremors along parts of the Sunda Trench. These tiny quakes are often linked to the grinding and bending of the downgoing plate. At the same time, multiple volcanoes across Indonesia have reported intermittent ash emissions and changes in gas output, hinting at volatile movement within the arc's magma reservoirs. At some monitoring stations, so too emissions have risen unexpectedly, which is often a sign of new magma entering shallow systems. Semeru functions as a sensitive geological indicator for the Java segment. Its open conduit allows gas to escape easily, making it prone to sudden, powerful eruptions when deeper pressure builds. The current eruptive episode displays several characteristics associated with increased magmatic or tectonic stress. The collapse of the ash column reveals a surge of pressure from below. Satellite data shows thermal anomalies on the upper flanks, especially around the crater rim, suggesting fresh magma is approaching the surface or interacting with older material. Minor deformation along the summit region indicates that internal pressure has fluctuated, possibly forcing magma upward through existing fractures. Another factor that stands out is the expansion of cracks and fissures around the summit area. These cracks often appear when repeated eruptive pulses fracture the surrounding rock, but they can also reflect stress transmitted from deeper levels. Such fissures provide new paths for gas and magma to escape, which can accelerate the pace of future eruptions. Sumeru has a long history of cyclical eruptive patterns. Over decades, it has repeatedly transitioned between steady ash emissions and more powerful explosive phases. What makes the current activity notable is how closely it aligns with changes occurring elsewhere along the Ring of Fire. 
These broader patterns warrant careful attention because they can help identify the stages of regional tectonic adjustment. As tectonic plates move, they do not release stress uniformly. Instead, stress builds in pockets, shifts across boundaries, and releases along weaknesses in the crust. When a volcanic arc begins to show correlated signs of unrest, such as multiple volcanoes producing ash, spikes in SO2 emissions, and sudden tremor clusters, it often signals that the subducting plate beneath the region is undergoing structural changes. These could be related to variations in plate descent angle, changes in fluid release from the downgoing slab, or pressure redistribution at depth. For the Sunda arc, any stress increase is significant. This arc includes some of the world's most dangerous and historically active volcanoes, such as Merapi, Krakatoa, Rong, and Agung. Many of these volcanoes have exhibited intermittent unrest over the past year. Even minor changes at one volcano can reflect broader adjustments occurring along the same subduction system. Monitoring organizations will continue tracking several key indicators at Semeru and surrounding volcanoes. These include elevation and volcanic tremor, which signals constant magma or gas movement. Consistent changes in SO2 output could show that fresh magma is rising. Satellite-based thermal imaging will help detect shifts in heat signatures on the volcano's flanks. Ground-based deformation sensors will track inflation or deflation, offering clues about whether magma is accumulating or being released. It is important to understand that Semeru's recent eruption does not necessarily predict a major event. Volcanoes often experience phases of increased activity without escalating into catastrophic eruptions. However, the broader context of heightened ring of fire activity suggests that the regional tectonic environment is currently more dynamic than usual. This makes Semeru's behavior a valuable piece of a larger geological puzzle. Semeru's latest eruption reflects the ongoing forces acting beneath the ring of fire forces that stretch across entire oceanic plates, shaping volcanic arcs, generating earthquakes, and constantly remodeling the Earth's surface. The increase in activity across multiple arcs suggests a redistribution of tectonic pressure, with magma rising, gases shifting, and surface volcanoes adjusting to the deeper movements below. For now, Semeru stands as a reminder of the geological power concentrated along the Ring of Fire. Its warning signs, rapid pyroclastic flows, sudden ash collapses, crater fractures, and thermal anomalies highlight the sensitivity of these volcanic systems to even subtle changes in tectonic pressure. Continued monitoring will determine whether this activity marks a temporary fluctuation or part of a larger pattern of intensifying stress across the Pacific.